guys, the Cyber Dragon Master is here to show you another deck profile. The best Cyber Dragon deck profile in the game. Oh, you're having to net deck because Because my cards still aren't here and everyone's slow as shit and should feel bad. Yeah, why? Well, then it's time to pack up your Cyber Dragons because they're non-essential and incomplete. I'll pack you because you're non-essential and incomplete. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. You know this never works out in your favor. Oh, yeah? I've been getting tougher, you'll see. Just try and put me in a box. Well, since you literally just asked for it. <laughs> I didn't read it. I would say that this is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you, but I've never been packed into a box before, so let's find out together, shall we? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, my heartbeat deck's in here. Okay guys, it's been way too long. I'm tired of waiting on the mail, so I'm just gonna show you a net decked version of my Cyber Dragon deck profile. I am still working on this deck, working on the ratios, but I'm pretty sure that I've gotten it about right. As a matter of fact, uh, Till has been helping me with this. I will show you his version of the deck as well. Till being the person who runs my TikTok, it does an awesome job, especially right now while I'm moving and stuff. Hi, I'm Till. I'm German. And um, I just wanted to note that this deck profile, the side deck, is budget. You can change it to whatever you want. I just use this stuff because it works and it's searchable, just a Kiru searchable, Elton and searchable. I like the Kaiju package. Change that to whatever you want. But as far as the main deck goes, it's about perfect. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to be showing you some sweet two card combos, three card combos, all that stuff. I'm going to show you how consistent those combos are in this deck. But first, let's go over the deck profile. So, the Cyber Dragon core, the core of the deck, pun intended, <laughs> is three Cyber Dragon, three Cyber Dragon core, three Hertz, two Galaxy Soldier, you only need two Galaxy Soldier. I think you only need two Galaxy Soldier. It's searchable through Cyber Repair Plant. You get Cyber Repair Plant every turn with core, which is searchable with emergency. Cyber Dragons, guys, are just mm, so consistent, which is one of the main reasons why I've played this deck for so long, especially with the introduction of Cyber Emergency, which I totally got us. Ugh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the Power Bomb Searcher didn't turn out that great, though, did it? They gave us a Power Bomb Searcher like I wanted, but it wasn't, you know, very good. Oh, I wish I wouldn't gone for that format. And then after Emergency, I play a three Machine Duplication. Machine Duplication is just so good, and it's so much more consistent these days because we have Emergency, which searches the little guys, and we have another little guy in Hertz. It's just perfect. Um, you guys will notice um, I don't play um, the uh, Nashter. Nashter's really good, but wake me up when it becomes a level five itself as well. It's a good card. It comes in handy. It's a one for one target. It's a machine dupe target. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. But it, it limits you to machines and it doesn't make itself a level five. If it made itself a level five when it was special summoned and special summoned from the graveyard, Ooh, that would be lit, but it doesn't do that. So it's just an okay card to me. That's why you'll see me exclude it a lot of the time. It'll come in and out of these decks as I'm working on them, but usually it'll be left out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I want to give you guys a tip when it comes to machine duplication in this deck. Uh, pay attention to when you actually need to activate it. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, depending on your hand, sometimes you'll go a Roradon combo and then be able to make some room and then machine dupe. Sometimes you'll skull dread burst. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, and other, then other times you will straight uh, go for the machine dupe play out of the gate. Um, it just depends on your hand and uh, how practiced you are at the deck. But moving on. Um, cyber repair plant. Cyber repair plant uh, nine times out of ten. I mean, like 99 times out of 100, more like, um, I search for Galaxy Soldier. Every now and then I'll search a Hertz or something, or maybe another Cyber Dragon core, you know what I mean? But for the most part, it is Galaxy Soldier. And then um, also, I will use a Cyber Repair Plant's other effect sometimes to uh, put a Cyber Dragon back into my deck for a Machine Dupe target. So Cyber Repair Plants uh, has been a great card for a long time. Rev System, another great card, also searchable with uh, Cyber Dragon core, and is part of a two card combo that I will show you in a minute. And then finally, we have Monster Reborn because Monster Reborn is Monster Reborn, right? Um, and then um, I play the Synchron Engine. So why the Synchron Engine? Well, because they're tuners and you have tuning that searches them 
and mills a card and it's almost like we have some cards in our deck that you know would be nice to mill like a free hertz or something for example so tuning is pretty great the only time that tuning sucks is if you mill one of your galaxy soldiers and then you're like oh, i'm not gonna end as good but I mean, you still end well um you know like one galaxy soldier is still fine you just really would like to search the other one sometimes when i mill a galaxy soldier off of tuning i'm like oh i want a third galaxy soldier but you, you really don't need a three galaxy soldier two is perfect but a uh, satellite synchron is a uh, key to the deck really so i played the speed roids because taka tamborg is always live because you have plenty of wins between the quick draw synchron the aurora don and the aurora don tokens and of course tuning to be able to search the, the quick draw synchron so that is perfect and then terror top is a, a plus on its own. Just spec it, get the Taka Tambor, and just go. Plus, um, Terra Top will serve as a, a monster for like a, a genius play if you need to, um, you know, machine dupe under genius to get your search for quick draw synchron to be your tuner to make needle fiber to keep your um, plays extending, you know. Um, Terra Top is perfect at, at that. I love it. And I bumped this up to a three Mandrake. This, it needs three Mandrake because you march your combo every single hand in this deck. It's freaking fun. Not only did I uh, up at the three Mandrake, but um, I up the ante <laughs> on top of the three Mandrake. I um, I was always playing uh, Light Stage because Light Stage is a, you know, it's a plus and it's, a, it's got a really good second effect where uh, you can, uh, you know, brick out um, an opponent's uh, back row. Pretty good stuff, but um, terraforming to search the the light stage to get Mandrake, great stuff. Mandrake being a light for Galaxy Soldier, being a monster um, to, to send off of Quick Draw Synchron, and then that will trigger a Satellite Synchron. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But then I play one for one because there's a lot of one for one targets in this deck, including your last three tuners, the two Karakuri tuners, which I will get to, <laughs> and uh, Deskbot One because Deskbot One is. Perfect with Aurora Dawn, as you guys already know. Um, and then the extra deck, you got your uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, or Mega, no, not Fortress, Mega Fleet Dragon, my bad. I've been playing this game for too long. <laughs> Chimera, I've been playing this deck for too long. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. Um, and I, I play that. It can't go from the extra deck because that's what allows you to go second. You know what I mean? It, it, it's just so good. Like, there's times where I will summon a Cyber Dragon from hand, you know, get that Mega Fleet out, and then use that Mega Fleet and, uh, um, you know, another mach machine to make a uh, genius. And just, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, guys. It's a lot of fun. And then these next three monsters right here, along with the Karakuri tuners in the main deck, are what really make this deck. Cyber Dragon, Karakuri, Synchron, or just Cyber Dragon, Synchro for short, Cyber Synchro, whatever you want to call it. But these Karakuri cards, there's a level 9, a level 8, and a level 7. They all all, well, at least the first two, the level seven and level eight, summon a tuner from deck. And that's what's key here. <laughs> so the idea is to Aurora Don play, make Hyper Librarian, and then use that Karakuri Synchro loop to keep Synchro summoning to keep drawing cards off of Librarian. I came up with it all by myself and it's so beautiful. <laughs> and then I play Marcher. Um, Mar guys, Marcher, how did Marcher not get banned? I mean, I guess they, they hit, oh, sorry, they hit Link Cross, you know what I mean, to try to help, but. Marcher is insanely good. I love this card. I love Marcher. Um, it enables so many fun things in this deck, including, you know, the two card and three card combos. Um, and then I play Herald of Arc Lights. This can be replaced with um, F.A. Dawn Dragster. This could be replaced with Appaloosa. This could be replaced with Pleiades. Um, I, I play this. I play this, um, but I kind of cycle through Pleiades and, and Appaloosa. You know what I mean? This... It's, it's really nice having the Arc Light and having, you know, Macrocosmos. It, you know, essentially, and having, you know, a negate on top of that. I, I just like Arclight. Um, that, that card can be swapped out, though. And then I play Nova and Infinity because, duh. <laughs> uh, Nova is special summoning a Cyber Dragon and Infinity giving you a negate, of course. Um, and then I play Durindle. Um, in Till's version of the deck, he swapped it for Appaloosa. That's why he swapped for Appaloosa. But I played Durindle over Pleiades because Durindle is more generic, uh, requiring only two level five monsters. Plus, um, Durindle unbricks you. It's uh, similar to uh, playing Skulldred, honestly, because Skulldred lets you draw four cards, you know, put three back. But um, Durindle lets you, like, just from the start, let's just say you have a Machine Dupe and a, and a core and no other good cards in your hand. You can Machine Dupe, make Durindle, shuffle everything back, and then see what you got, you know? Um, so Durindle comes in handy. It also comes in handy uh, with Light Stage and um, stuff like that uh, so you can uh, either disrupt your opponent's hand or you can uh, you know negate uh, during your opponent's turn um, once again uh, I played Dorindle over Pleiades just because it's generic but I miss Pleiades a lot Pleiades is a bounce during either player's turn you can use Pleiades to bounce your own core back to your hand your own quick draw back to your hand to reuse it and of course your own the light stage back to hand to search another Mandrake I just want to note that right now um, it can go back into the deck um, likewise Skulldred I play Skulldred and Dorindle and uh, you know I play these cards for consistency and Arclight even for consistency for 
for ultimate consistency um, in the deck, just with my experience with the test hands that I got. So um, this is for ultimate consistency with the test hands that I got, but feel free to change to the cards that I've been mentioning, Appaloosa, Pleiades, um, etc. So um, Skull Dread though. Skull Dread is a consistency card, like I was saying, it can be Appaloosa though. Um, Skull Dread is just really great when you don't get any tuners. It doesn't happen very often, but there will be hands where I'll get like a, like a Terra Top, and like um, a core and some other stuff and I'm able to make a skull dread, get my tuner, and uh, you know, then make a needle fiber and keep going and end with a pretty good board. Genius is like that as well. Genius, uh, you use to get your tuner um, when you're going first because it's, you machine dupe under genius and then you get your quick draw synchron. Um, stuff like that. They're just consistency cards and a genius is also very good at going second. And the next up we have really the best cards in the extra deck besides the Kirikiri stuff that I added that I've already talked about. Aurora Dawn, Needle Fiber, and Al Mirage. Al Mirage makes core really consistent, uh, as you all already know. Um, plays a big part in the two card combo. Um, and uh, Needle Fiber, you already know, summons a tuner from the deck. Needle Fiber is like the best card in the game. Like, it, it's so good. Um, and then Aurora Dawn is the best card in this deck because you get all these machine tokens and you just keep synchro summoning and drawing off of Librarian. And then um, I've kind of already gone over this side deck, uh, but it's just to simplify it, it's some searchable Cyber Dragon cards being Elton in and the Overflow, you know, and then you have the Kaiju Engine and then some Spell and Trap Destruction. And then to go with the Kaiju Engine, I have the Fortress Dragon in the side deck that you could put into the extra deck to pair with uh, just Kiru. And that's it. That's the whole deck. Now, let's get to the combos. So when it comes to the two card Cyber Dragon combo, all you need is a Core and a Satellite Synchron in hand. That is it. And both of those cards are searchable. So you play three emergency to be able to get core as well as three core so your chances of drawing core are really high. And then you play three satellite synchron and three tuning to get that satellite synchron so your chances of getting it are very, very high. I might have discovered the most consistent two card combo in the game right now. So um, for the two card combo, you will summon your core and then you search your rev system. And then you use that rev system to summon core from the graveyard, which will trigger your satellite synchron. And then you use your satellite synchron and the Al Mirage to make needle fiber. Marcher, satellite synchron, Aurora Dawn, keep going, get those three tokens. And then after that, that will trigger your Despot 01. You make Hyper Library, and then you make the Karakuri level seven. Then you summon a tuner. Then sync for the level 8. Draw. Some another tuner, sorry. Then draw. Then use the effect of the tuner in graveyard to draw another card. Sync or summon again. Draw another card. So you start with two cards and you end with seven cards. Eight if you count the tuner in your graveyard that will turn the uh, carry around to give you a banish during your opponent's turn. I love this deck. I love this deck so much. And you don't, let's just say you didn't draw either of those two cards. Let's just say you drew the other half of the deck, the non-Cyber Dragon half of the deck, right? You literally build to the same card being Aurora Dawn. You use those Aurora Dawn tokens to Synchro Summon. And then you have that Librarian out already, presumably, uh, to be able to keep drawing cards. And then you use those cards that you draw to kind of resource drown your opponents or, you know, just whatever. Plus that uh, level five um, Hyper Librarian is great for Dorindle. Um, which is another reason to play Dorindle over um, Pleiades because you can't make Pleiades with Hyper Librarian because Hyper Librarian's a dark. Be cool if he was a light, but he's not. The Kira Kiri cards do still suck to draw, but not so bad because they do activate in Graveyard and you can pitch them off of Quick Draw Synchron. And then you can, of course, you know, if you have a good enough hand outside of that Brick Draw, um, you can usually build to your level 7 Synchro and at least summon the other tuner out of deck. Now, if you draw both Karakuri tuners, you kind of bricked. I mean, if the other card, the other three cards in your hand are good, like a core and a satellite synchron and a machine dupe, you're still good. Uh, it's not going to be as good because you can't Karakuri combo, you know, the librarian and draw a bunch of cards, but I mean, it's better than nothing. The deck is super consistent, guys. So consistent that you can actually cut a few cards, add lightning storms in there, or evenly matches, or whatever you want. Um, but uh, be careful of what you cut because. Uh, you can uh, hinder the deck. For example, um, you can cut terraforming because terraforming can be a brick in your hand if you draw the terraforming and the light stage, right? So you can cut terraforming, cut one for one because one for one is an extra. And I don't know, you can cut probably Monster Reborn because Monster Reborn is an extra as well. Or you can cut the uh, speedroids, to be honest. The speedroids are also extras. My point is you can cut a few cards, add your more expensive cards in here. I just made the deck 
ultimately consistent. Um, as consistent as I could think to make it anyways, and I'm just leaving this as a template for you guys. Because that's what I do, I just build the decks and show the combos and... Be master of Cyber Dragons is all. Oh, yes. So in closing, guys, Cyber Dragon Synchro is still alive, even without Link Cross. I figured it out without Link Cross. Of course I would. I have actually figured this out a while ago, but once again, cards do not come in right now. And I'm in the middle of moving. Like, I, I, it's just a pain in the dick. It, like, trying to, it's like pulling teeth trying to get cards right now. I don't know what it is. The mail sucks. Cinders suck. I, I don't know. They're, they're just... Ah, I'm just trying to show off cool stuff for you guys. You know what doesn't suck though? Zane Truesdale from the anime and Cyber Dragon. Speaking of which, I am very much looking forward to that Cyber Dark, Cyber Dragon deck that, you know, everyone's talking about. It's supposed to come out, so that will be really sweet. Um, I have a video that I want to make that's going to be titled, Cards That Will Break Cyber Dragons. One of them being a machine dupe searcher. That would be that would break cyber dragons even if it was a once per turn having a machine dupe searcher imagine having machine dupe as consistent as you have core if that won't break the deck i don't know what will but i don't know if they're, they're gonna come out with that card in the uh, cyber dark cyber dragon uh cyber style structure deck you know i don't think that uh, they're gonna do that that'd be that'd be way too cool i'm gonna make them though Subscribe! <laughs>